I'm not even turning around, dude. I'm not turning around. I just saw that thing. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to episode three of Subnautica. Looks like we're getting a radio call in here. We'll have to check that out. We are still on the island from last episode. This, this place is crazy. It's, it's nuts. I have a lot of stuff in store for today's episode. Pretty excited. A lot of things I want to do and get done, but the majority of, of that is thanks to you guys. I appreciate all your comments. They've been incredibly helpful. One of you guys mentioned on this island is actually some caves. Oh, these things are out here too. Are you kidding me? Get me away from those. No. They're like sometimes harmful and sometimes not. Like they didn't hurt me a ton until like I got around too many of them. But you guys said there were some caves around here. And in these caves are some valuable items. So we're going to check them out. Uh, you guys said do not go in the water cave though. That's, that's a no-go. So we're going to avoid water. But in here, let's pull out our flashlight. Do we still have that on us? We should. Oh, our inventory is like very full. Oh, we have the flashlight. Off to a good start. Oh my God. All right, hold on. Yeah, that's right, back up. So I see water over here. Let's kind of avoid that. Um, okay, here's some rocks right here. Break, break shell outcrop. Have we seen that before? Whoa. Remember the materials you gather. Are the property of the all terrible Dude, we got our first diamond. To reimburse the Let's go. Price. Your current bill stands Get out of here, spider. Credits. Spider crab. Dude, we just got our first diamond. Yes. I know there's... I can't remember off the top of my head, but there was something we want to craft. I can't remember exactly what it was, but it, it required a diamond. And now we're going to be able to do that. I kind of want to go to this other side here. Do you think there's anything in here? Let's take a look. Oh, okay. This is the water cave. This is what you guys said to avoid. I gotta get that diamond. Hold on. Hold on. Um, let's drink that water. Let's pick up that diamond here. Perfect. Alright. You, you know what? I think we're gonna head out of here. Our inventory is so full. We can always come back. That is not an issue. I, I'm curious though. Is that the only location I need to get diamonds from? I'm, I'm sure there's diamonds in other locations for sure. What? What? Huh? Okay. Just, just fell through the map right there. Is that also a part of the matrix? What is going on here? I'm curious about these things. Now, one of the common things that you guys told me was Zach scan everything. Scan and read everything. So that's what we're gonna do this episode. You guys wanted it. Bulba tree. Which roots to the ground, sprouts, turquoise leaves. Analysis suggests the sap produced by this plant is poisonous to insects, but can be harvested and consumed by humans for its high water content. Okay. That's good to know. I don't have any room for the bulba tree right now. That's okay. What are these right here? Another thing that you guys mentioned in the comments section was that I missed the cutscene. I missed the whole sunbeam cutscene. And I was completely unaware of that. I thought I, w I came back still in time. So I'm going to have to look that up this episode if I haven't already. And we'll have to take a look and, and see, see what that looks like. Okay. Uh, I'm seeing lights on this thing now. What is that light? Is that a hologram? Whoa, 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 whoa. What is that? What in the world? It just... What is that thing, dude? I'm out of here. I'm going home. Take me home right now. I don't want to be near that thing. I don't want to encounter it. It looked like it shot some sort of Dragon Ball Z bomb wave outside of its hands. All right, as we're heading back home here, I have a lot of goals for this episode in mind. Thanks to you guys again for the comment section. Just ran out of power there. We're going to need a new battery. But one of the main things that I want to do here is build a base. Okay. I want to build a base. I know how to do it now. Thanks to you guys. You said, hey, Zach, use the compartments. Dude, that's all you got to do. Use the, use the freaking compartments and you'll be good to go. Goodbye, Alien Island. And we'll see you soon. Why is that thing above water? Why is that thing above water right now? I'm telling you guys something, something real weird's happening. 
I'm diving through quicksand. These jellyfish are above water. Something, something's wrong. I can't wait to get this base made. I'm so sick of, of having a full inventory and an offloading into these water buckets. Actually, I think I'm completely full. So that's going to be the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to make a brand new base. Let's listen to the radio real quick. Hello? Partially translated broadcast. Nine new biological subjects designated mode. Hunting. Analyzing. Sharing subject locations with other agents. What? Calorie intake recommended. That was the creepiest thing I've ever heard in my life. I felt like I was talking to the predator. You guys said cure uh, food. Cured food is better than cooked food. So from now on, we're going to cure our food. I actually just lied to you. I just cooked a boomerang. So we will eat that. Let's take a look real quick, guys. Let's take a look right now. What do we need that diamond for? The laser cutter. There it is, baby. We just need cave silver? Okay. No, we got cave silver. Right? Let's go outside. I'm grabbing cave silver now if we don't have it, but I believe we do. Oh, yeah. We got cave sulfur, baby. We got cave sulfur for days. Where is it at? Oh, tools. Okay, here we go. Let's craft it. The laser cutter. I don't know if you guys remember from last episode, but we ran into a secret door underwater. And we're going to be able to cut that door open, I believe, with the laser cutter. So that's why we crafted that. We're going to need to make another battery as well because we ran out of a battery for our sea glide. We just need to... Uh, do we have a battery on us? I think we do. Hold on. Exchange power. Yeah. Dude, look at me. I'm just so prepared. All the time. Not really. So with all of our stuff here, let's get outside. And let's pull out our build tool. Now here's the thing. I don't think... Yeah, okay. This is a problem I realized. We're going to go build it over here if we can. But the problem I realized when looking back and editing the footage was it wasn't that I couldn't put it on the foundation. I just didn't have enough materials. I know. So we just built this, our first compartment. Um, I don't know. Can we get in here? How do we get in there? Um, oh, okay. Hold on. Do we have to build the hatch? We're going to be building a trash can. That's that's the first thing we're going to make. Hatch. We need our quartz. Okay. What other what other resources are we going to need? We're going to need a lot of titanium quartz. Um, we have plenty of titanium on us. I know that. Let's let's go grab that. Let's go grab some quartz, and we'll grab some more titanium while we're at it. And I'm so pumped up because we're going to make some wall lockers. I didn't think I would ever say that in my life. I can't wait to make wall lockers. We got another radio call. Let's see what the predator has to say. Uploaded to PDA. I'm gonna have to look at my PDA because this isn't the first time that I've gotten a, a radio call from somebody and they said coordinates attached and I never saw the coordinates. In fact, I think LifePod was at 17. Did we? We did go visit LifePod 17, but okay, it did mark it on our map here. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe we did. We're, we're good. Looks like LifePod 12 is on our screen now. We're going to have to go check that out this episode. Okay, let's uh, let's take a look. We need to make a hatch. Here we go. Let's do the let's do the circle hatch. I think that's the more expensive one. But we live a, a life of luxury. Can we get in here now? Warning, emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. Huh? It said we have no power. Power zero out of zero. How do we get power? Let's take a look. Uh, solar panel. Powers habitat. Oh, this is what we need. We need more quartz. Oh my gosh. 
quartz. Here we go. And we'll actually grab the rest of this quartz. Some more titanium. I'm going to have 1,500 storage lockers. Just full of them. Just everywhere. All right, let's make this solar panel. I wonder if these are powered by batteries. There we go. Ooh. Yup. Solar panel made, baby. Let's see if there's power. Ooh. Welcome aboard power Captain. restored. All primary I systems like it. online. I like it a lot. Okay, what else can we make? I want to make another compartment. I think we got to go outside for that. Let's take a look. I want to make a, another compartment on this side. This looks fancy. Ooh, okay. That's exactly how it works. All right. Dude, this is sick. Okay, awesome. Now let's make uh, let's make those storage the storage lockers here. Can I make two here? Is it even worth it? Let's take a look. Ooh. Yup. Okay. There it is. Oh my gosh. Dude, look how much room we have in this storage locker. Get out of town, bro. This is perfect. We'll put our alien cubes in there. Our Rubik's cubes, our battery. All that in there. Oh, that feels nice, guys. That is so much room. I am so incredibly happy right now. Okay. I'm going to make a trip back, and we're going to grab a bunch of stuff from our water lockers. And we're going to put them inside that, that storage box there. And I think I'm going to need... What, what was it? I didn't even fully look. I think it was three quarts for that thing, which is kind of a lot. Um... We have so much rubber, and I have yet to use much rubber. So I'm going to keep that in there. We'll take our titanium. Take all that. Dude, oh, this is so nice. Okay. Our cave sulfur. Sick. Got our own little base. It's got a solar panel on there. You come on in. MTV Cribs right here, baby. Welcome to my crib. We got a locker. And uh, that's about it. Dude, I'm able to put everything in here and more. I love that. Okay. Now, if I want to make another locker, a freestanding locker, I'm going to need more quartz and titanium. I guess I'll get that from my locker that I have now. I'm like a child. Okay. Let's get another locker here. Let's put that right there. Boom. Space created. Oh, yeah, I forgot we got more storage inside of our uh, and start inside of our main base as well. Let's grab that and we'll move it on over. I want to try and fully move into this base. And if we have everything that we have inside this base over there, we shouldn't have to come back. I'm a free man. Fire extinguisher. Coral tube samples. We'll grab those. Grab that. Um, you know what? We'll take this metal salvage. And we'll make some titanium. Sweet. Okay, let's head back in our base here. Whoops. There we go. I think the first thing we'll make is the fabricator. That makes the most sense. And we'll put that right here. The next thing we'll make with my power and resources is a radio. And then the main thing that we'll put down here, which I don't know if we have enough resources for. Uh, medical kit fabricator. Silver ore fiber mesh. Do I have silver ore? I know I have fiber mesh for sure. I just saw it. Okay, we do have silver ore. That's good. Fiber mesh. I think that's already in my inventory, right? Oh, wait. Did I not grab the fiber mesh? All right. Yep, we had it right here. Let's check under here and see if there's any more copper. 
Oh my gosh. Yep, they're still here. They're still here. I'm juking them, though. They don't know I'm around. Try to get me. That's right. Growl. Growl. Oh my gosh. Dude. You know, I forgot how much stuff is in here. There's quite a bit. Limestone. Limestone brings me copper. I gotta remember that. And titanium. More titanium. Oh, no, 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 no. I thought you were a limestone crop. No. Get away. <laughs> Grab that copper. Is this salt? That's quartz. Okay. We'll grab some quartz, too, while we're here. Oxygen. Oh, there's no cave sulfur right there? You mean I just endured that explosion for no reason? Dude, if I die... If I die... <gasps> now, we are running low on food and water. So after we finish up this base, I'm gonna probably head over to... What is it? Life Pod 12? Life Pod 12. And just before we do that, we'll, we'll get um, our health up. I don't know how Welcome I forgot the about captain. the med kit fabricator. I really don't. It's actually very embarrassing. I'm embarrassed. But we know about it now. So that's what matters, right? Let's take a look here. I need the computer chip. Okay. Let's take a look here. And we need the table coral and the gold. We put that up. Let's grab that. Grab the silver ore as well. And we'll grab the table coral samples. Let's go to electronics, computer chip, there we go. You know, I'm starting to get a lot more comfortable with this game. I'm starting to figure it out. It's starting to feel a lot more like home. Now we can make the medical kit fabricator. And we officially have everything from our original base inside our brand new base. All right, enough talking. Let's consume a medic kit because we're almost dead. Let's use that. Oh, that didn't even get us up all the way. Bruh. Okay, let's consume some water here. Do we have any food in here? No, we don't. Okay. We'll have to grab some more food. Peeper. We'll grab like four fish. Oh, here's the bladder fish. You guys were saying that I actually need to go to the fabricator and try to craft water with this. Food. Cooked food. We'll cook a peeper. Now, I know I said I wasn't going to cook food anymore. We were going to put salt on it. But I'm eating it right now. So I don't need it to last. Because we're very hungry. Now, if we go to water here. Filtered water using the bladder fish. That's so much nicer. I didn't know that was a thing. Here I am making bleach. Like an idiot. Vital signs stabilizing. Let's take our medic kit from our other base, our old base, and let's consume that baby. We are up on all levels. I'm going to head over to the beacon that I installed, beacon one, and I'm really hoping it works like Narnia, where if I go through it, I go to another dimension. There it is. Okay, let's grab this laser cutter. Oh, ho, ho, baby. What could be in here? Passing 100 meters. What could Oxygen be in here? Efficient. Come on. Come on. There we go. Ooh. Mobile vehicle bay fragment. Yes. Dude. Let's go. Seconds. Oh, okay. We need oxygen. Hold on. This is literally perfect. You couldn't have planned this better in a book. We're coming back here. We're going to grab this mobile vehicle fragment. And that's going to allow us to make the sea moth, which we already have the ingredients for. Let's grab that water. What about this door? Oh, this is sealed too? Good thing I have my laser cutter. Just cutting doors right open. 50%. We're almost there. What's on the other side? It better not be some dangerous animal. I'm hearing a dangerous animal. Okay, open data box. Supply crate, take that. 
Blueprint acquired. We're running out of oxygen. We gotta be careful here. Mobile vehicle bay, bay fragment. We don't need that. Oh, hold on. Let's grab this modification station fragment. And let's get out of here. We have 12 oxygen left. We gotta be very careful. I'm not sure what the modification station is. But there were some really good and necessary fragments in there. I'm really glad we went in there. Let's head back to our base. Let's create the mobile vehicle bay. And let's craft the sea moth. Let's get in our mansion here. Come over here. Um, actually, the resources are in here. Let's grab our lead, our power cell, our titanium ingot, our lubricant. And uh, some of this other stuff. Okay. Now, we didn't actually look. Okay, we're going to need to make more titanium ingots, more lubricant, and another power cell. That should be doable, I imagine. We have more seed clusters at our other base. And I believe we just need to make another battery for the solar power cell. Let's take a look. Uh, we should have more copper. We grabbed a good bit. Maybe it's in here. There it is. Let's craft another battery. Um, silicone rubber. Um, let's make some lubricant. I guess we have some of that on us. We have enough to make titanium ingots as well, I believe. So let's make a titanium ingot. We need... Oh, we need six more. Let's grab that. Um, let's throw that in there. Let's grab a bunch of titanium. And then we should be able to make this titanium ingot. There we go. Perfect. And then we just need silicone rubber. Which I think it said we could make that, right? We have creep vine seed clusters. I didn't realize we had those on us. We grabbed those on our way earlier. Dude, we just really planned for this. This is perfect. Let's make the power cell. Perfect. Okay. Um. Where do I place this? Whoa. Oh, that's cool. Oh, we're getting a radio call. Let's play this radio. And let's craft this sea moth. This is Officer Keen in Light Pod 19. The captain is gone. Uh -oh. I have assumed command. The last thing the captain did was give me coordinates for dry land. We regroup one and a half kilometers southwest of the crash site. Stay together and good luck. This message will now repeat. Rendezvous coordinates corrupted. Transmission origin coordinates downloaded. The captain Signal died? Location Whoa. To PDA. Wow. The Seamoth is a fast, That's safe awesome. mode of transport. But remember that swimming is good for your glutes and endorphin levels. I'll get my swimming in, Jarvis. Don't worry. Oh, Welcome yeah, aboard, baby. Dude, this is awesome. Let's go. This is so cool. Okay. Here's what I want to do, guys. I want to go back to Life Pod 12. Whoa. What was that? Let's enable Life Pod 12 here. There we go. And let's go check this out because I know last time we were over here, we didn't have enough oxygen to check out everything around here. I am curious. What was that? I am curious if we can um, scan things in this thing. That would be cool to know. So we crafted the laser cutter for the door. We keep running into things. We're, we're killing things on our way to Life Pod 12. That's okay. We crafted the laser cutter for the door. We got the, the fragments from inside of that. We crafted our base. We know to use med kits now. And we crafted a fabricator for it. Once we go to Life Pod 12 here, and we'll probably visit the other Life Pod as well, we will then go make the propulsion cannon. 
and we'll visit the Aurora a second time and we'll remove the debris from that location and see what is past there. I want to also see if I can do a little bit of research. Warning. I want to see if I can do a little bit of... Did something just attack me? What is happening? What? 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 Whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on? What's going on? What are you? Whoa. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. What just happened? Passing 200 meters. What? Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. Is this thing broken? Can I get back in this thing? Oh my gosh. I got a creature egg. I gotta go back up, dude. Oh, here's the upside down um, life pod. We came to this at one point. And we didn't know how to get inside of it. Oh, dude. There was a hole in here the whole time. And I never noticed it. Creature decoy. There we go. We got a PDA. Integrating new PDA data. All right. Join the Altera crew. Let's play. Landed in area of significant alien activity. Encountered predators in the Leviathan class, highly aggressive. Leviathan. Spectroscope scanner assigned species designator Reaper. One specimen attempted to swallow the life pod, doing extensive damage in the process. That's terrifying. The only viable option is to make for the safety of the Aurora crash site. I have retrieved a data box with the creature decoy and enough resources to fabricate a couple of them. The swim's longer than the decoy lifetime, but it should just be enough to keep them busy. If you don't find me on board the ship, presume I miscalculated. Whoa. Or presume you're dead. That's always an option. All right, let's drop off these resources here. Creature egg, let's put that in here. Now I've changed my mind. I'm probably not gonna make the Seamoth just yet. But what I will do is get another battery for this guy. I don't wanna make the Seamoth, oh my gosh, there's another one. Dodged. I don't wanna make another Seamoth because I don't know why and how I died. Well, I didn't die, but my, my beautiful vehicle did. And I don't want to risk that happening again and just wasting more resources and going through that cycle. What was that? Did you hear that? That sounded like a bomb exploded. Oh, I'm really thirsty. Let's drink this water. Vital signs stabilizing. And we need a little bit of copper ore while we're out. So we're gonna... Gosh, these things, they don't stop. They don't stop. But I dodge them every time. Because they're just not on my level. Let's pick up this quartz. We're gonna need glass as well. Is that silver? Oh, okay. Ooh. Ooh. Dodge. Dodge. Dodging all of them. Oh, here's some more stuff on the ground. Let's see if there's anything here we can scan. Um, nothing. Nothing really. I think we were over here at some point. Alright, let's head back. Let's make this battery. Because our thing just died. Now, I just remembered one of the tips that you guys gave me in the comments section was, Zach, stop swimming with things in your hand. It's getting really annoying because you're swimming so darn slow and we all know why. All right, let's jump back in the mansion. We'll make this battery. Let's see here, electronics, battery, copper ore. Let's grab our copper. 
I love how the one resource I was trying to get, I didn't even get it. All right, let's replace this uh, this battery. There it is. And let's go to Life Pod 19. Second officer. While we're on our way to Life Pod 19, let's take a look at another PDA entry and let's learn some stuff. Let's take a look at the Aurora Engineering Drone Log. Exiting sleep mode. Loading voice recognition. Engineer Barkley and Chief Technology Officer you identified. Drone, get me a propulsion cannon. Repulsion cannon retrieved. Hey, Berkeley. Ooh, Install repulsion that circuit cannon. box with that repulsion cannon and you'll punch a hole in the cargo bay. Damn it, drone. I said propulsion, not repulsion. Recalibrate sensors. Sensors recalibrated. Sensors aren't the problem. I tweak the program. It's like you now. It doesn't like being told what to do. Dang. It's drone, sentient. I Hashtag chat GPT. Albert now. Albert? Albert? I know it's not your fault, but it would really help me do my job if you'd bring me what I asked for. Thanks His name should be Jarvis. It's a better name. Can retrieved. Thank you. Now go away. Entering hibernation mode. Boss, this hobby of yours isn't making my job any easier. It's rude. Or safer. Maybe so, but it's all that's stopping me from being so bored. I take a spacewalk in my skivvies. My skivvies? Don't you hate taking walks in your skivvies? Alright. Let's grab some oxygen here. I, I noticed we're getting a little bit hungry. And I will never break my rule of eating sushi again. I only eat cooked food now. That's all I do. So we're going to have to wait till we get back home to eat. This thing is 300 meters down. Passing 100 meters. This is not Oxygen good. Efficiency decreased. Okay. What I want to do is I want to get right on top of this thing. And I'm going to go up and grab more oxygen. And we're going to come back down on it. You know, the perfect vehicle for this right now would be the Seamoth. But an alien life form that I know not of took it away from me. Oh, we're close to the island again. Interesting. I was just thinking I might want to go back to the island and go in that alien vs. predator laboratory and see, well, I want to make sure that I'm not infected first, which I highly disagree with. I don't think I'm infected. And see if I can uh, get the thing they were wanting me to get from in there. Passing 200 meters. Oxygen Dude, I don't think this is a great idea. Where well, we're trying to help out the boys. Let's see what we got here. PDA. Integrating new PDA Lithium. Data. Some more, some more data here. Gold. Acquired. We gotta grab this and leave. All right, we gotta go. We're at 58 PDA oxygen. 250 meters below water. I've been in this situation before, and I think I left at a good enough time to try and survive this thing. Once we reach the surface, I'll play the PDA that we got from there, and I'll try to play more PDAs so that we can catch up on the knowledge and more of this game. Looks like we left at a good time here. All right, let's take a look here. Life pod 19. Emergency. Starvation imminent. Seek I'm starving? Immediately. To all crew, if you're reading this, then you have followed the automatic distress signal broadcast by this life pod's onboard computer. Contrary to my orders, wow. I've been forced to evacuate. Your orders are to disregard my safety and attempt to reach the designated rendezvous coordinates at the nearest landmass. I hope to see you there. Well, let's see if we can find Jarvis 2.0 over here. I need to eat something while I'm here as well. And I'm sure there's food here. Delicious alien food that I can eat. Let me equip my battle knife real quick. There it is. Picking up multiple energy signatures on the island's surface. That's not good, I don't think. What was that? I just heard I just heard walking. Oh, it's those crabs, okay. 
Can I eat this? Speckled. Oh, get out of here. I'm running. No. Don't hurt me. I'm going to scan these things. Don't worry, guys. I'm just really hungry right now. And I'm getting attacked by crabs. Whoa. Do you see that right there? What is that? Oh my gosh. Whoa. Here's the rendezvous. Oh, here's some food. Pick up m huh? m marble melon? Yeah, I'm going to take all your crops. I'm really hungry right now. Let's consume this. Vital signs stabilizing. Okay. Status rifle. Dude, you're telling me I can shoot things in this game? Let's get this fragment. Oh my gosh. These things, they just like to ruin everything. They like to ruin everyone's life. And they don't care about others. You're not running away. Your life is ending right here. All right. Let's grab my status rifle. Perfect. Now I want to do a self scan. Am I infected? I am. Let's pick up the purple tablet. That's interesting. Integrating this, thing's, data. this thing looks like it crashed. Wall planter. Hmm. Let's let's listen to this PDA. I think this is it right here, right? Keen, this is Aurora. Come in. This is Keen. Life pod detached to a cave planet fall in 30 seconds. The computer has identified a landmass at the attached coordinates. I want you to regroup the crew room. there. Understood, but they are your responsibility now. Don't let them down. Captain, you need to evacuate. Negative. You'll need the ship in one piece if you're going to contact me. What a brave captain. Long range. I'm attempting a controlled descent. Captain! Oh, man. Did the captain die? There's a lot of PDAs in here. Bulkhead. We're getting a lot of fragments here. This is really good. Now I'm starting to... I, I'm curious. Now I'm curious. Is this a whole other island? Or is this the same island I was at the other day? Near blueprint acquired. What is this? Ming? What did it say? Ming plant? Let's scan this Ming plant. We'll scan a couple things around here, and then we'll read up on them and see what they say. I want to head up here. I saw that thing. Oh, here's another PDA. You see, Chief? You brought us to this sodden planet. Told us we'd see a lush payday. Now what do we got some six weeks later? A dead crew. A habitat that's half buried. Food washed away. I suppose the executive decisions would be better left to someone with your extensive experience of hitting people in the face. I know enough not to take unscheduled she hit detours who in the face? to uncharted planets. That's something you don't want to learn the hard way. Easy to judge a decision in hindsight. Harder to come up with a plan of your own. Going already. Already. We take what we can carry and hunker down He's in a cave Scottish. somewhere. He's Scottish. I already trust him. I scouted a site. A couple hundred meters deep. Lots of metal deposits. How do you imagine Okay, it's up here. With ready access to building materials, like damn queens. A couple of water filters, a bioreactor, fresh fish. But Chief, we'll eat seaweed salad and drink our own urine if that's what it takes. Drink your All own what? Is, Not me. Something better. Send the coordinates to my PDA. I'll review your proposal. Integrating new PDA data. All right. I'm trying to head up this mountain because I want to try to get... Oh, it's over there. All right, I need to be very careful. Last time I fell two and a half feet and I died instantly. And I don't want that to happen again. We need to get up this mountain and get to that other piece of crashed... Oh, exterior grow bed. So I guess we can grow things. 
get to this other this other spacecraft. Let's listen to another PDA here. I didn't realize all these had I had voice locks. This is live pod you three. You really think it'll carry two of us? Your regular sea glide tows a mass of 80 kilograms at over 30 kilometers an hour. The power cell rig to this one should double that. You think there's something out there that's faster? Oh, sure. And that's assuming it doesn't overload three meters from the light pod. You're calm about this. I'm seeing the engineering problem. If I stop seeing the maths, I'll be terrified. The maths? Huh? Sounds like a smart individual. Status rifle fragment. Stasis. Sorry. Oh, baby. We got the rifle. Don't mess with me. I got a rifle now. Take item. We got some water. Another PDA. Bark Torgles. Integrating new PDA data. Fern Palm. Scan this. Now, let's listen to this, uh, this log. And then we'll take a look at some of the plants that we've analyzed. This is the first time I've seen sunlight in months. After That's all that sad. time in the deep, I'd been dreaming of it. Now that I'm back here, I'm finding it hard to enjoy alone. Yeah. Father was right. We should never have left this place. I'm starting to feel bad so for deep. these guys. They do not want us down there. Despite my best efforts, Ilhan is taking hold of me. The visions are getting worse. Marguerite and Father are now part of the ecosystem of this incredible planet. It's reassuring to know that when I go, I'll join them. Oh no. Until then, well, there's always the view. That's the most dramatic ending to a PDA I've heard so far. I hope he didn't die, but he probably did. Here's some more outcrops. I'm gonna eat this because I'm I'm starving. And marble melon sounds delicious right now. All right. So there's a bunch of extra plants over here, and I know that I'm infected. So let's take a look at our data bank and see if there's anything that can cure my infection because I would like to go back inside the alien versus predator dome and get what is what is mine. This coral species has adapted to filter carbon dioxide from the environment using the carbon to build the colony and expelling the oxygen from specialized exhaust funnels. Okay. Surrounding waters are dense with herbivorous life forms in the one millimeter to ten millimeter range to the extent that large herbivores appear to have mostly abandoned the area. Let's take a look here. Um, herbivores. Leviathan. See? Scavenger, shuttlebug. Necessary waste recycler. Okay, so we need to stop killing those things. Lantern tree. They grow fruits. That's good to know. Java cup. Okay. that You can eat that. That's good to know as well. We have some of that. Okay. This is inedible. I'm glad I didn't eat that. I almost ate the speckled rattler. Would that have killed me? This may act to ward off predators or even encourage predation as a means of spreading the spores. Okay, so this can encourage them as well. Red wart. Common plant adaptable to many different environments. The red wart is a stable part of the diet of many smaller herbivores. Okay. I don't see anything in here so far. Parasitic fungus-like growth found attached to the other life forms. Yikes. Okay. I don't see anything so far that helps with my infection. Ooh. 
scrub basket. Let's take a look at that. Alien data terminal. Oh, this is interesting. Let's I was just reading this alien data terminal and it says that the alien species which designed this technology evolved or genetically selected sensory apparatus to hear and understand the information being broadcast by the device and to communicate back. The mental processing power required to perform this kind of tele telepathy. Oh, wow. You know what? That reminds me when I when I crashed my vehicle earlier, something spoke to me. I don't know if it was an alien or what, but something spoke to me. Let's jump in here. Whoa. That's crazy looking. What's under here? Oh my gosh, what is that? Scan this. An ancient floater. Tab to view. Suggests these vast floaters have matured in an ingenuous symbol. Okay, that's a lot of words. Raised in the water crew. Okay. Gotcha. All right. Very interesting. So as we head back here, let's take a look and let's see what we need in order to make the propulsion cannon. Because we might need to get some resources on the way back. Let's see here. Let's pin the recipe. We're going to need a computer chip. What is that? Propulsion cannon. Oh, wait. Repulsion cannon. So I need a propulsion cannon to make the repulsion cannon. Well, how do we make the repulsion cannon? There's the stasis rifle. That'd be cool to make. Magnite. Magnetite. Wonder how we get that. Oh, here we go. Here's the propulsion cannon. We need a wiring kit to make that. And in addition to the wiring kit, we're going to need a computer chip and magnetite. I'm not 100% sure where to find magnetite, but if we want to go back to the Aurora and get that debris out of the way, we're going to need to find it. I'm, I'm wondering if it's an island type of thing, an island type of resource. Maybe I'll visit the other island I was on in the last episode and see if I can find Magonite there. So we are officially on the other side of this Aurora. We were up on this earlier and we'll go back up it again soon once we get the repulsion cannon. Let's take off the radiation helmet and put on the rebreather. And we're still having issues, okay. So there's, there's something I'm not understanding and that's okay about the radiation. But while we're at it, let's just still see if we can um, make our way under and explore a little bit. Okay, we were here last episode. I remember this. But is this all there is? I don't remember there being much more than that. All right, I see a bunch of land here. I'm going to try and go up here. There's more titanium. Here's an outcrop. I hope I don't fall into quicksand again and fall underneath the map. Power transmitter fragment. That's probably pretty good. Let's take that. What does that do? Equipment. Power. Ooh, dude, a Cyclops? Whoa. This thing looks awesome. Let's head back to base here. We've kind of searched around the Aurora. We tried to go underneath it. Doesn't look like that is a possibility at this time. There's a couple other people that we need to go to. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Run, run. Oh my god. It's actually coming after me right now. No, 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 no. I'm not even turning around, dude. I'm not turning around. I just saw that thing. 